week today until Christmas. Isn't that just amazing? Can't believe it. So obviously next week I won't I won't be here and probably not the next Monday afterwards. I'm not quite sure where I'll be. Um, but definitely not next Monday because it's Christmas Day. So uh, I think I'll be busy on that day. And um, But I'll be thinking of you all and hoping that you all have a fantastic, fantastic Christmas and um, that you eat lots and drink lots and spend some fantastic time with your families. Um, but tonight, I've got a couple of things to share with you. As you know, you've probably seen everywhere that um, celebration starts uh, on the 4th of January. So we get the mini catalogue. And actually, I'll show you the mini catalogue. The mini catalogue. And we have also got celebration that goes with that, which is all the free stuff that we get to give away to you um, with uh, qualifying purchase. So love this time of year when I get to give things away. It is so exciting. So love having a go with them before um, sharing them, you know, recommending or um, not recommending, but you know what I mean. Love having a go with them um, prior to them being released so that you get to have a little look and um, decide which ones you want. So hi Julie, welcome. Lovely to have you here. Um, it is really, really, really hot. I'm sitting here dripping. My my room where I do my crafting gets all the afternoon sun, so it's pretty warm in here. Um, but I'm going to flick it over to the desk. I've got my wee Santa pink, of course, my Santa hat, um, and I'll be able to take that off once I flick over to the desk. I wanted to share with you one of the other things that we have is amazing joining option during celebration, where um, we share we, we um, give extra things when you join up. One of the options is choosing this fantastic glass mat and accessories. So it comes with these little uh, corner pieces on here which are anti-slip. And I love working on glass mats. If you want to know what they're good for, you can, um, if you don't want to use this mat, you can drop some ink on here, use it to um, color with water. You can use it with blending brushes. I don't know about you, but I waste a lot of my um, ink on paper when I'm when I'm stamping, uh, inking, brushing off before I use my blending brush. You can do that on here and then pick it up again to use it on your project. This is a little um, silicon mat which is doesn't slip. That is not moving. You can put your little um, ink spots in there, or you could drop some ink in there and use it from there. You can put your stamp pad on here and open it up and it doesn't move around when you're trying to use your which I will use which I will use today and it's tempered and it comes with this beautiful soft chamois which you don't need to use any product or anything like that you just give it a wipe and give it a clean so good I'm so excited this is just fantastic to have one of these I must admit okay so the set we're going to be using tonight is this Cradled in Love. This month my brother um, Bill had two um, grandchildren born on the same day, different different kids, but two born on the same day. So I um, had to make some cards for them and I just thought fantastic, this set is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to do it on a white card base. So the kids are playing outside, so you might hear a bit of bit of noise. And I have got this um, paper here, which is from the uh, also from Celebration. It's the Flight and Airy 12 by 12 designer series paper. It's got beautiful birds and um, sort of watercolor backgrounds, etc. So I'm just going to take that. And one of the stamps is this cute, cute little elephant. So I'm going to grab the elephant. I think these sort of cards are fantastic just to have in your stash, aren't they? Um, I'm just going to sort of, not ran, fairly randomly, but on round the edge, um, stamp this elephant. Now I'm going to cover up the middle, so I'm not going to need to do the whole thing. just 
see it because it's on well, there's a little bit of fresh freezer on this uh, paper as well as the bubble bath so when it gets on those dark bits you can't see it quite as well and it's very cute yeah it is cute isn't it so he's such a cute little elephant I've actually done the elephant on the inside as well he's just adorable you could do a card just with the elephant in actual fact but I think he is very cute so not being too fussy as you can see just stamping it down like so so we'll set that aside, which I can glue that on. I love these birds on here too, they're just so cute. Okay, let's pop that there. Okay, now I have also used these perennial um, dies. They are cool. These are in the new mini catalogue coming out. Perennial postage dies. I have used these so much already. They are really, really great. And I've used this one to cut out this size here. And that is what we will be using. Okay. I'm going to start with um, the mat. So... It's quite good, it keeps your ink pad there quite firm. And I'm going to stamp that down the bottom. And then I am going to use, which is interesting enough, a colour I didn't think I would use that much, and I have used it quite a bit, is this Wild Wheat. And it was perfect for this sort of cane <coughs> cane look of the of the bassinet or the cradle is the so that's going to go so there's got two little gaps at the top there so I'm just going to pop those two feet in there the back two feet like so. Let's get a little bit of something on there. That doesn't matter. And then there is the, um, I don't know what you'd call it, the arch or whatever it is for the mo mobile. And then we have the mobile. It really is quite simple. Um, you could actually not colour it in or colour it in. I'm going to colour it in, but um, you can choose not to if you didn't want to. Um, so entirely up to you. Okay, so I'm going to do this part first. So I've got light bubble bath and I'm just going to colour this matte. And then I'm going to re-stamp it because the ink sort of get the texture on the mat gets a little bit lost. Something lovely about making um, baby cards, I think. Okay, and where did I put my mat? Here it is. Okay, doesn't matter if it's not perfect, just to get a bit more of that detail back in there again. Okay, so let me close, oh, I can leave that open actually, that's, I'm going to use the fine tip and I'm just going to add, so this is the dark, the dark stamp and blend of the wild wheat. and. Fantastic imagery, of course. It's got um, the shading, basically, or the texture already done for you. Um, yeah. Okay. 
right and then I'll add a little bit of shading as well so these ones on the inside would probably be a little bit darker and I'll do these as well quite soothing doing colouring in so not as much shading with this as maybe some other images that you would have. Okay, so it will be dark in there. Just sort of guess really. And here. Yes, sunny hot days. I'm so excited. I just say this every time, but I'm really, really hoping now that this means that summer is actually here. Wouldn't that just be amazing? Okay. Hmm, I'm going, going where I can't see what I'm the stripes that I'm looking at as to where they are. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Welcome. Just saying, it's probably not as hot as where you are, but it's very, very hot here today. I'm sitting here dripping. Okay, so, and I'll just do that as well. And then I'll just get the light one. So it does look kind of like this wild wheat, does look a bit, little bit like um, cane, I think. Okay. So I'm just drawing the dark part down like that. Of course, you know, you can do blue for a boy, um, pink for a girl but you could also do yellow if you didn't want to be t as gender specific or green there's some lovely sentiments as well with this you can mix and match them which is always good Getting there, 39 degrees, oh my goodness. Oh, well, it's not that um, not that hot here. <laughs> Oof. Oh, I need melting. So still using bubble bath. This is a wrap. It's on the. Took a little while to work out the bits and pieces. I must admit, that's the wrap on there. And then I'm just going to use a bit of fresh freesia <clears throat> for the stripe. Well, you can't tell the difference, can you? No, because it's not fresh freesia. <laughs> That's why you can't tell the difference. Golly, I don't know. Okay, that's better. Okay. All right. And what color shall I do the blanket? I think I'll do that pink as well. I just saw something I missed here. Where was it? Okay. We'll do light bubble bar. So this here is a blanket on the bed. I thought 
when I first did it, I thought, oh, why have they just got the bottom of the bassinet there with no, um, nothing for the baby to lie on? <laughs> and then I realised that it was. Supposed to be. Okay. Such a cute stamp set. Oh, you got it too. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. It is so cute. Okay, so next, let's colour the... The moon and the star. And then I think we'll have a pink, a purple whale. Or fresh freezer whale. There we go. Right, is this one the light? No, it's the dark. I'll just bring those colours down a little bit more. There's a bit of a line there. course you can color it um, any color you like right I'm just gonna now add a little bit of pink in the background with a blending brush so I'm just gonna ink up a little bit but I really don't want I really don't want much at all I just want it to be very very light And let's see if I've got any on there actually. I probably took off too much. Maybe my pink's a bit um, a bit dry. Oh, that's better. Just a little bit in the background just to take away all the white space really okay how good is it I know I was just raving about it to everybody it is so cool it is so cool because I'm not wasting grid paper every time now and you've still got all your marks on here you know you're measuring and you're straight and you're whatnot Okay, sentiment. We need. So, as I was saying with the stamp set, you can do. I'm just going to do welcome little one, but you could do um, sweet baby girl, sweet baby boy, sweet bundle of joy. Lots of different combinations from that, which is great. Okay, and I'm going to do that in grey granite. lovely script as well I, oh, I didn't couldn't even get it straight for goodness sake <laughs> oh dear well that's all right I have to look at it on an angle maybe if I put it no that's all right that's all right I can always get a little strip of paper and add it later right now the next thing I'm going to do is just add some I'm not very good at getting things straight, I must admit. Some ribbon. Of course, I'll use some pink ribbon. I'm just going to go there and back. And I'm going to cut that. Probably. I'll see what it looks like. And I might cut it when the card is on. Okay. Use some dimensionals. Yeah, so I don't often make these uh, baby cards. Um, oh, the DSP was um, in the celebration the um 
keep going to say flight and fright, but it's the flight and eerie with the birds and whatnot on it. So this was the pink one that I used. It's just the back side of it, and that was for the boys card. And of course, you've got the beautiful birds on that side. Okay. Let's pop that on. And the backings. I'm sure to find them around the place. Oh, you only saw the birds. <laughs> yep. Okay. The birds are cute. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that as well. So it just comes out the side. And then I thought I would... Um, do something I haven't done for a while actually just to coordinate the um, colour for this um, embellishments. So I'm thinking I might do I might do um, Fresh Freesia. I think it might be enough pink on there at the moment. So it, this is just basic pearls and if you want to get the perfect, if you can't find the gems that you've got um, are not exactly what you want, this is a perfect way to um, colour them to match what you have. So you can just see those elephants around there. Okay. Now, I won't be able to look at that um, crooked, so once this is finished, I will be <laughs> doing it on a strip, and um, yes, oh, it'll annoy me. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but that will really, really um, annoy me. <laughs> okay, so that, as I say, the elephants are stamped on the inside. Um, which is super cute um, and this is the mail card so you've got the boy or the girl option so I really like how quick oh one thing I forgot to pop on there is the wink of Stella on the star and the moon there we go you probably can't see that but um, yeah so a boy and a girl card ready to go. I can um, send them to my new niece and nephew, and um, I'm sure they will. Well, they won't love them, but the parents will. Um, and as I said, I won't see you next Monday. It is Christmas Day, so um, I'm sure you'll be all busy. Um, but have a fantastic time. If you like this um, video and want to share it with your friends, please do. And if you've got any questions about the mini catalog or celebration contact me and I can send one out to you if you live in New Zealand of course um, but otherwise enjoy this amazing um, festive season and make the most of it take care everybody bye